Now to our coronavirus coverage, we're taking a look at some Texas numbers. Today, 115 more active cases were added to the state, but more than 8,000 people have recovered from the virus. That brings the totals to 152,000 active cases statewide and about 212,000 recoveries. New tonight, virtual learning is about to begin for many many schools across Southeast Texas and some BISD teachers while well, they're having some fun with it. Our 12 News reporter, Tyler Segerman, he takes us inside of one of these virtual classrooms. This is what class will look like for students in BISD. A different way of learning, but one that still feels creative for teachers. It's changing the world of education. It's I'm excited. With less than a month until school starts with online learning, teachers are doing this. But not to work. Creating virtual classrooms for virtual learning. Just for you. It's, a, it's tedious and it, it is a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. And it, it gives us that creativity that we have been longing for for so long. And so it has definitely get, brought out the best in us. Joy Fontenot, a Beaumont United teacher, put this video together showing her unique design. Click on the board. And she's not alone. Teachers across BISD are getting creative to make online learning a unique experience for students. This is so cool. Honestly, it's so cool because kids can't lose their journals now. They can't lose their notebooks. They're, they're saved in their Google Drive. Odom Academy teacher Rachel Gunther Street says having an online environment helps keep the focus on learning. For us educators, it's going to be much more important to really work on creating those relationships because they're not going to come as naturally as they would face to face. We'll have a great time. And educators all over the district having some fun with this new way of teaching. In case a child can't get in contact with a computer or it's a harder to get that type of device, they'll be able to use it on a phone. Fontenot says virtual learning shouldn't just be used as a substitute to not being in the classroom. Even when we go back to face to face, I'm going to continue to uh, integrate technology into my classroom. If you're excited about starting school like this, it will be the only form of learning for Beaumont ISD for the first month and maybe even longer. In the virtual classroom, Tyler Segerman, 12 News.